there. I actually promised that I would do this for a good deed. So I'm going to read a five minute fairy tale from Five Minute Fairy Tales. Okay, I'm going to read Twelve Dancing Princes. Twelve Dancing Princes. That was started by Pamela R. Levy. Uh, adapted by Sarah Toast. Long ago, there lived a king who had twelve beautiful, clever, b beautiful and clever daughters. The princesses slept in the same room with twelve beds in a row. The king loved his daughters, but he concerned about what they did each night. The king carefully locked the door of the princess's room every night, but the next morning always found the princess's tired and out of sorts. Her puzzling still their silk dan dancing slippers. There was no, they were worn to shreds. When the king asked his daughters where, why they were so tired, the princess merely said, "Be loved, Papa. We have been sleeping peacefully in our beds all night." king wanted to find out the truth about his daughters. So the king issued a proclamation around the kingdom that first man to solve the mystery of the princesses went to dance every night would choose a wife from among them. However, everyone however, anyone who tried to discard the princess's secret had only three nights had had only three nights to succeed. It was not long before a prince arrived at the palace to try his luck. The prince had led a small chain, led into a small chamber next to the princess's bedroom, where the door connecting two rooms was left open. The princess could not leave without being seen by the prince. The prince accepted a cup of wine offered him by the princess. In no time, he was sound asleep in his bed. When the prince woke the next morning, the princesses were asleep in their beds. The prince was surprised to see all the worn-out shoes. The next two nights, the same thing happened. The king was very angry. He banished the prince from the kingdom. Many other princes met the same fate. Uh, the king thought he would never find out the mystery of where his daughters danced at night. One day, a poor wounded soldier came limping along the road. He just sat down inside the road to eat his uh, major, major meal of bread, cheese, and cheese. An old woman appeared dressed in rags. Won't you have a bite to eat with me, said the soldier to the woman. He offered her half of his sample meal. Where are you going? Asked the woman. I'm going to find work. Perhaps I can find out where the princesses were there wear out their shoes. Woman said, Listen, don't do not drink the wine that the princesses offer you. Take this cloak for it will make you invisible. Then you can follow the princesses and discover the secret. The soldier thanked the woman and headed more at once to the king's place. That night the soldier was led into the room next to the princess's bedroom. It was offered a cup of wine. The soldier pretended to drink the wine but driven to his scarf. He lied down and pretended to sleep. When, he heard her, when the eldest princess heard the soldier snore, she said, Make haste, but we must get ready for the ball. The princesses chattered and laughed as they dressed in their best gowns and jewels and arranged each other's hair. Only the youngest princess felt uneasy. Something isn't right, she said. Don't be a little goose, said the eldest princess fondly. That soldier is sound asleep. He won't be up until morning. When the princesses were ready, they put on their dancing shoes. The eldest princess tapped on her bedpost three times. The bed sank into the floor and became a staircase. The eldest princess stepped down to open the floor. One by one, the sisters followed her. The soldier sprang out of bed and threw on the magic cloak. He followed the youngest princess down the stairway. 
because his leg was lame, the soldier stumbled and stepped on the leg of the hem of the princess gown. She shrieked with alarm. The, the princesses and the soldier went down many flights of stairs until they came to a forest of silver cheese. They came across cheese of gold and cheese of diamonds. The soldier broke off a branch from each kind of that each kind of tree that they passed. The princess hurried into the edge of the beautiful lake. Their twelve princes awaited them in twelve blue painted boats. Each princess took the hand of a of a handsome prince. The soldier quickly hopped into the boat with the youngest princess and her prince. On the other side of the lake stood a lovely castle with boats approached the castle. A fanfare of trumpets announced the arrival of the twelve dancing princesses and fireworks lit the sky. The princess and the prince, I mean the princesses and the princesses stepped into the castle where the beautiful music welcomed them. There the princesses danced with their princes for half the night. My neck is, my neck is actually getting sick. But that isn't part of the story by the way. So the princess's slippers were worn out. The princess rode the twelve princesses back across the lake. And this time the soldiers rode with the eldest sister. The princess bade their princess good night and promised to return the next night. And then the princesses hurried back the way they came. They were so tired they, they slowed down at the top of the last set of stairs. The soldier was able to dash ahead of them, throw off his cloak, and jump into his bed. The princess got into the room, put their worn, tattered shoes in a row. The eldest princess checked on the soldier to be sure he was asleep and said, We are safe. And said to her sisters, We are safe. Now all the twelve sisters fell fast asleep in their beds. The soldier wanted to see the forest and castles again. So he did not reveal what he knew the next day. The soldier, st the soldier did the same thing for the next two nights. He pretended to sleep and followed the princesses. On the third night, the soldier took a golden cup from the castle to show the king as proof. The next morning, the king set and sent for the soldier and asked him, "Your soldier, have you discovered where my daughters?" I messed up. Good soldier, have you discovered where my daughters dan dan dance their shoes to sheds every night? Your highness, I have, said the soldier. They sneak in down a hidden staircase, then they walk through three enchanted forests to a beautiful lake. Their twelve princes take them across the castle where they dance the night away. The king could not believe the, sol the soldier's story, but then the soldier showed him the golden cup and the branches of silver door golden diamonds. The king called his daughters, who amended the truth. The king told the soldier that since he solved the mystery, he could choose one of the princesses to be his wife. The soldier, however, decided he liked the eldest princess the best. She was clever and spirited, so as well as very beautiful. For her part, the prince thought the soldier was very clever and kind. The soldier was given a royal garment to wear. He and the eldest princess's princess was married. The wedding guests ha happily danced the night away. Okay, now I am going to show you the long and aching pictures that went along. Okay. At first... Here, this one is the king looking at the tired shoes. This one is of the sleepy princesses crawled around their father. One, two, three, four, five, six. They only saw six of them. <clears throat> the soldier with the lady. The princess is giving the prince wine.
sneaking away princesses and right here is well hmm, let's see one second my computer fell asleep oh no and I have to put it back to the spot that it was at okay all my computer loads well I think it, this is a really odd story and as you know Barbie made the Barbie company made the same thing actually I'm gonna actually search on YouTube later 12 dancing princesses Bar Barbie 12 dancing princesses okay well <clears throat> my computer won't come back okay there it goes as you can see, the youngest getting stepped on. Well, her dress. Entering the boats with their knight, with their princess. Do this fast. Dancing the knight away. Checking up on the soldier. His one of his eyes are open. Showing thy king proof. And then thy wedding. Whoop. Thy wedding and then the front prints. Which I am not gonna show the I am not gonna read those those. Okay. I know that was longer than I expected, so I'm gonna end it now. So bye.